Welcome to the homework for Lesson 3, Grade 1, Module 2. Write your name here first. Now we're draw labeling, and we're going to circle to show how you make 10 to help you solve. And complete the number sentences. And you'll see what this looks like after the first example, if you don't remember from class. Now, before we were drawing to finish tens with three add ends. Now we're going to have two add ends and we're going to find a sneaky way to make ten with our picture. So Ron has nine marbles. Sue has four marbles. How many marbles do they have in all? So here's Ron's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are Ron's marbles. And Sue has four. One, two, three, four. That's Sue's marbles. And that's drawing and labeling, right? Ron, R for Ron, and S for Sue. That's labeling. And we're going to circle to show how we make ten. So Ron's nine needs, it's just missing one more, right? It's missing one more to make ten. So I am going to just kind of loop this guy in here. And there's my 10. So that's Ron's 9. And this 1 here. Make 10. And that leaves 3 more from Sue. So that's 10. This 10. And 3 more. Make 13. Ron and Sue have 13 marbles. That's what we're doing. Jim has five cars and Tina has nine. So we have Jim has one, two, three, four, five. J for Jim. Tina has nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There. Now you could take Jim's five and five more from Tina and make ten that way. But usually it's easier to take the big number and just add a little bit more to it. So we're looking to take Tina's 9 here, and we're going to loop one of Jim's cars in with Tina. Since we're counting them all, we'll count that 10 right there. And then we can see that there's 4 outside of there. So it's 9 and 1 make 10. And there's 10 in those 4 that are left out make 10, 4, 14. Jim and Tina have 14 cars. Stan has six fish and Meg has nine. How many fish do they have in all? Stan's six fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Meg has nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can see she just needs one more. Oop, got a label. Meg's nine and Stan's S right there. Six. One more for, we just loop this one in here. Then we have nine. Meg is nine and stands one more, makes ten. When stands five, still has five. So ten and five, fifteen. They have fifteen fish. Rick made seven cookies and mom made nine. How many cookies did Rick and mom make? So Rick has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are Rick's cookies. Mom has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are mom's cookies. Now when you look at these numbers, here's Rick's seven and mom's nine. You're usually going to take the larger number and just if it's a nine or an eight, this trick works great for nines and eights when you're having when you have those for add-ins. So I'm going to take this nine, and because it's easy to think of this seven as one less six. And if you have to take too many more than just one or two from the other add-in, it gets harder to figure out what it is in your head. So this is really a mental math trick of thinking of this as a ten six instead of a nine seven because ten six is a lot easier to add. So here in the picture, I'm going to count those 10 together. And they have 
that six. So that's nine, and this that's the one right there. Makes the ten, and then ten six is sixteen. Rick and Mom make 16 cookies. And this is all like setting up that trick of making the 10 and then you're adding to the 10 to make a teen number. So we're using that trick that we know for making teen numbers with 10 and using our uh, ways to make 10, our partners to 10 that we know. Uh, those two tricks together make this a lot easier than doing all the counting up that we have had to do before. Dad has eight pens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Tony has nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are Dad's pens, D, and these are Tony's pens, T. I'm going to scoop one of Dad's pens in with Tony's pile. Tony's nine, plus that one from Dad is ten. But Dad still has... 7, right? Because he went from 8 to 7. So it's 10. And the 7 here. 17. Dad and Tony have 17 pens.